My name is Madeline Stratton. I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. In undergrad especially, I was very focused on making things look realistic. In my painting, like I mentioned earlier, I was using oil paint, working from photographs, and to me it was really important to see how well I could render something. And in my printmaking, I was doing a lot of figurative work, especially with etching. And then now, you know, my work is definitely more abstract, much more geometric, much more colorful. I was trying to figure out why I was so interested in fabric as a subject in my work and realized when I was younger, I learned how to stitch and sew. And so I decided to kind of bring that into the paintings and into my work. And eventually um, just really got hooked on the idea of, of memory um, and the idea of memory of not only objects in the spaces that we live in, but also the physical spaces themselves. When I was thinking about the title for this show, it was a little bit of a struggle. I was trying to think of something that would be broad enough that it would really encompass the different things I was working on. And to me, these spaces that I'm referencing in the paintings are very specific to me, but at the same time, I'm trying to portray them in such a way that they're open enough that the viewer can sort of connect with them. So with Imagine Spaces, Groups Remembered, I really wanted a title that would really focus on the fact that these are coming from memory. Uh, but at the same time that we don't remember everything, right? Sometimes we remember part of an event or space, but what's on the periphery um, is sort of blurry. And so knowing that even though I'm referencing actual spaces, I may be getting some of the details incorrect, which is okay, and I'm fine with that. And that, that's important to me to not be referencing photos or going into the space before creating the work. So acknowledging that some parts of it might be imagined, that I may have made up part of the memory of these spaces, um, was important for me to have in the title. The hand stitching that I'm doing and combining in with the paintings, um, that sort of act is very meditative for me and I like that it shows my hand. And I think that's something, um, with the paintings especially, I, I want them to look clean, but I also want them to look like a person's made them. Um, and so that's something I really get with using that material. But I also knew that I wanted to play more with material and kind of push myself in that way and also push myself stylistically. So with some of the paintings, um, previously to making this series, my paintings had a lot of areas of black color and not a lot of detail, but for the pieces in the show, I started playing around with adding detail and things like that. I'm really excited about showing all of it, um, and I'm excited to show a mixture of things. I'm excited to show the sculptures with the paintings, um, again, because the sculptures are fairly new for me, and I'm really excited about these paintings. I think they've taken a shift compared to some work I was making a year ago, and I think that they have a lot more personality, so I'm really excited about, about sharing those. I really want them to look at these paintings um, and these pieces and connect with their own memory of a space. I think that you know we tie so much memory to these interior spaces and also these everyday domestic objects that surround us and so I really hope that they're able to connect with the work and kind of delve into their own memory and maybe have a reaction to that.